So I got the shade, what shade did I get? I don't know. Welcome back. So I got my August Boxy Charm box here for you today. Now lately I've been waiting for my Ipsy bag to come in so I could do like a combo video, but this box is just too good and I'm too excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this video. And as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box. I've tried out the goodies inside, all except for one thing. So I've got some like thoughts and little mini reviews for y'all. So yeah, let's get to it. So the theme this month is beach, please, which is super duper cute. That's what the card looks like. So the first thing in here, this is what I have not tried out, which you can probably guess why I don't use eyelashes a lot, but these do look really pretty and I am gonna keep these for the few times a year, once a year that I wear lashes. But these are Pro Eyelashes by Pure, the Complexion Authority, and their retail price of $14. It says Pure's, 3D lashes are handcrafted with the finest luxury silk to provide ultra lightweight, natural looking, fuller lashes. These cruelty free lashes are durable, reusable, and safe for contact wearers. So I did open these up and like feel of them and they feel very nice and soft and like not like a, a tough band or like a stiff sort of a lash so they feel really nice quality so i bet that they will be really beautiful on so i'm excited about these for the few times i wear lashes next thing in here is an eyeliner this is the waterproof gel eyeliner by bella pierre and it's retail price of 15 dollars says creamy waterproof eyeliner for true definition that lasts all day this liner glides on smoothly and is formulated with pure minerals, natural waxes, and antioxidants, making them hypoallergenic and safe for all skin types. So I do have this on my upper lash line today. Now I did this eye and at first I was like, oh, it feels like it's kind of dragging a little bit, but then I sharpened it and then it was super duper creamy and I actually had to um, use a little like angled brush because it was so creamy. It was like moving more than I was expecting. So. Um, if you get it and it feels a little bit dry, just sharpen it because I think it kind of like, you know, gets a little dry on like the outside, you know, layer of it. So super rich and creamy, super nice black liner. Um, really, really pretty. I do have a lot of black liners, but this seems like a really, really good one. And yeah, I mean, I use black eyeliners often, so I don't ever mind really getting more. This seems like a good one. Next thing in here is a liquid lipstick. This is the hashtag GRLPWR, so hashtag Girl Power Liquid Lipstick by The Beauty Crop. And it's retail price of $14.95. This is what I'm wearing right now. It says, an intensely pigmented liquid lipstick that is life proof with serious staying power. Enriched with shea butter and vitamin E, this lippy will give you comfortable wear for hours. It won't cake, flake, or dry out, empowering you to take on the day. So it says, uh, cruelty-free, no parabens, no phthalates, vegan, gluten-free, nourished with shea butter and vitamin E. It says, share your girl power pout with us on Instagram. So they're on Instagram. So I got the shade. What shade did I get? I don't know. Looks like written in very light, difficult to read lettering. It looks like date night is the color that I got. So it's like a a warm, um, sort of a, I don't know, terracotta brown color. It's really pretty. I mean, honestly, I would just describe it as a terracotta. Looks like a, like a more reddish terracotta pot. I thought it was gonna be, well, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be. Nah, it looks like it, I should have thought it was gonna look like this because it looks like it does in the tube. But I don't know, for some reason, when I first pulled it out, I thought, oh, a nude. But it's really more of like a, like a terracotta sort of color. So how I would describe this formula, this just really feels like a traditional liquid lipstick. Like it doesn't feel hydrating on my lips, but it doesn't feel overly drying either. Honestly, it just kind of feels like nothing on my lips. So I will annotate kind of how this wears, but to apply it, it was really nice. Um, I do really like the color um, and I'll let you know kind of how it wears. I'm guessing it might do the line thing just because kind of the more like traditional liquid lipstick formulas tend to do that a little bit more. But um, I'll let you know. I really like the color. I think it's gonna be gorgeous for fall. And I'm always excited about lip products and just makeup in general in subscription services. So I'm excited about this. Next up is a brush set. So this is the Moda Pro 
three-piece brush set and it's by Royal and Lane Nickel and it's retail price of $26 which I thought was a really low price point for three brushes. It says this Moda Pro three-piece brush set features a pointed blush, chisel blender, and a crease brush. These brushes will achieve endless looks and can be used with both wet and dry products. So there are three different brushes in here so let's see what the different ones are. I did use these today but I haven't memorized their numbers or anything. Okay, so this first one right here, this is the BMX 130. It says use to apply blush and powder with precision or use the tapered edge to create a subtle contour. Then we have the, what's next? This one right here. Let me put it over here so you can see a little bit better. Let me put this one here so you can look at them both. So the chiselly looking one, that one is the BMX 250 says with a unique curved design, this versatile brush can be used to apply highlighter or contour. And then next we have this one. So that one is the BMX 430. Define and blend your creases or use to, bl to not bluff, to buff over your entire lid. So these are so impressive. First off, I absolutely love the look of them. Like, it looks like it looks like a skirt I have. I have like a um, kind of quilted black skirt that's like a faux leather, and it looks like this. So it's just really cool. It's like rubbery feeling, so it's easy to hang on to them. They just look cool. They're super duper soft, like super nice quality. They feel weighty. That's why I'm just shocked that this would be twenty six dollars for this set. So I don't know why I'm so blown away by these brushes, but. I'm really blown away by them. They just seem really super duper nice quality. So I used them today. This one is just one of those brushes that it's just a unique sort of brush. And I will have to like figure out how to use this. I did use it for my contour, but it's just a little bit stiff for brushes that I typically use. Loved this on my eyes. I used it in my crease. Loved this for my blush. That's why it looks a little bit dirty. They all probably look a little bit dirty because I used them all today. So yeah, one of my favorite things in the box. These are such nice quality. And lastly, the thing that practically made me jump up and down when I opened this box is this right here. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 by Tarte. It's retail price of $36 and it says, crease-free eyeshadow palette with the best-selling creamy powder formula in eight cool toned shades. I had wanted this palette. I thought about purchasing it so many times. So when I saw it in this box, I was so ridiculously excited. Oh my goodness. I do have the other one and I really, really like it. This one looks like this on the outside. It's so pretty. So this is the more cool toned one and it's beautiful. I do have this on my eyes today. I have this one in my crease and then I have this one kind of like on most of my lid and then just a little bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes. So pretty simple eye look today, um, but these blended really nicely. They are so pigmented. This is a unique sort of a formula, like even right now, just when I swatched um, the kind of matte satin one, it sort of like gets a little bit of hard pan on it. So I really don't recommend like really swatching it with your hands. I would really just use your brushes on them. And I kind of like scrape across the top of them to like get the product, if that makes sense. So they work well on the eyes. They're just a little bit delicate like in the pan. I just wouldn't do a lot of swatching because they kind of do the hard pan thing. But like I said, I've wanted this palette. So I'm so excited that it was in here. And it's great for travel because it's like a smaller sort of a palette. Really pretty. Love that color. Oh my goodness. It's just so pretty. It's like a, just a cool toned, you know, smoky gray color. Beautiful. So excited. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is $105.95. So I would say this is one of my very favorite boxes that I've gotten from BoxyCharm. I love the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited about those brushes. Love liquid lipsticks, just a great box. And I also heard that we're gonna get a really great eyeshadow palette next month. So, I mean, BoxyCharm has just been like rocking. So 
Loved this box. If you want to set up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you get BoxyCharm, I would love to know what you got down below. What was your favorite thing that you got? What have you been doing with it? What kind of makeup looks have you been creating? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!